Okay, so linear equations. Let's go and define a linear equation. Write this down. An equation that forms a line in the coordinate plane when you plot the point, when you plot the solutions. An equation that forms a line in the coordinate plane when you plot the solutions. Go and write that down. Pastor, are you with me? Reyes, you with me? Let's do this. Now, when I say coordinate plane, when I say coordinate plane, all I mean is this. So, for those of you who don't know what a coordinate plane is, you should know. That's math one. A coordinate plane, maybe on the side, put a little arrow, put an X and Y axis. That's all I mean when I say coordinate plane. Like we dealt with that. You know, your graph paper is called a coordinate plane. You plot points on it. So when I say a coordinate plane, that means the x and y axis. I'll put an x axis here and a y axis here. Okay, that's what I mean by coordinate plane. An equation that forms a line in the coordinate plane when you plot the solutions. In other words, we just did one for warm-up. See, where is that one for warm-up? Here it is. We just did the... We just graphed a linear equation for warm-up. Look, it formed a line on the coordinate plane. It's a line. Hence the word linear equation. Okay, next word. Last one for the day. Solution. Solution. An ordered pair that makes a linear equation true when x and y are substituted with the x and y variables. We can say that the ordered pair satisfies the equation. That should ring a bell. Of familiarity. Remember solutions satisfy? That hasn't gone away now. Now we're dealing with a two e a two variable equation and the word solution means the same thing. But now we have two numbers that satisfy instead of one. Let me explain. I'm going to use the example from warm up. So underneath this I'm going to put example. Watch this. So the, the equation from warm-up was y equals 2x minus 3? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the ordered pair, 1, negative 1. On the side, I'm going to write 1, negative 1, this ordered pair. Ordered pair 1, negative 1 is a solution. I'm going to write is a solution. So you got the equation on, on the left side of your notes, and then go and write ordered pair 1, negative 1 is a solution. And I'm going to talk about why right now. Why is it a solution? Why is 1, negative 1 a solution? Well, look at what we read right here. An ordered pair that makes a linear equation true when x and y are substituted with an x and y variables. Watch. Wherever I see x, I'm going to replace x with that x coordinate. So I'll replace x with this, and I'll replace y with this, with negative 1, and it'll result in a true statement. In other words, it'll satisfy. Watch, Castro. Watch this. Wherever I see y, I'm going to replace it with negative 1. Wherever I see x, I'll replace it with positive 1. Watch this. 2 times instead of x, 1 minus 3. This better be true. This better satisfy or else the ordered pair is not a solution. Let's see, though. Let's, let's keep simplifying and making, and let's verify that the left and right side are the same. Negative 1 equals 2 minus 3. Is this true? Let's see. Negative 1 equals 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Look at it. It checks. It satisfies.
satisfies. So this is the same equation for warm-up, the one that I graphed on that website. So negative, if one negative one's a solution, how many solutions do you think this equation has? That's one. So one ordered pair is a solution. I just verified it. I just proved it in front of you. How many solutions does the equation have? Let's see. Infinite, huh? Look at it. Remember my finger? Look, it's going over the, this line. Let me zoom in. Uh, I zoomed out. Let me zoom in. Let's see. Let me... Where is that x-intercept? Here we are. Okay, watch this. There's a line. Let me zoom in some more. I'm way out. I'm like in the stars right now. Let me zoom in. Okay, now the numbers are getting smaller. I'm zooming in some more. 6,000. Let me zoom in some more. Look at that. Let me zoom in some more. Watch this, Reyes. Now I'm at negative 500 negative 100 and so on. So I asked how many solutions does the equation have? Look at here's the equation that we just graphed or we just talked about right now. Y equals 2x minus 3. Look at, look at all the, the points that are on the tip of my finger. Every single ordered pair, Reyes and Castro, every single ordered pair that I, that I put my finger over is a solution to that equation. Just like 1 negative 1 is a solution to that equation. Let me find 1 negative 1 by the way. Let me zoom in. Is 1 negative 1 on this line? Let's see. Where's one negative one? There it is. Okay, there's one negative one, right? There, somewhere around there. If I can keep it on there. There's one negative one right there. That's the one we just plugged in and it verified. And my point is that any of these, if you plug in x, y with any of these points, infinitely, like Denzel just said, it, ha it literally has an infinite amount of solutions. Okay. All right. 